is 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 the other the other point. So that is the that is the sort of the best time of the year. So people look forward to May. So I was um, obviously had a very natural feel about it, and um, you know in Ireland where I grew up, there was a great feeling of celebration on May Day. It was, a, it was a genuine, honest, like, it really meant something. Living here in San Diego, you know, we don't really feel the seasons, so it doesn't really feel much. And of course, you know, we go to Walmart or wherever. Hope you don't go to Walmart, but anyway. So we don't exactly go out there and pick our dinner or milk the cow for the evening. But and they were very much in touch with the the growing cycle and so on. So obviously, so naturally, <clears throat> it was a very real thing for them. Um, but uh, I, I kind of think of it in terms of the seasons, the growing seasons. Um, I know that a lot is made of the religious aspect of it, the sun god and uh, so on. And there's no doubt that is part of it and probably a very big part of it. But I think that... Um, Essentially, it's it's um, it's the it's the beginning of the the growing season, so to speak. Um, but personally, I like to think that there was a connection back to your country, to Persia. You know, who are the um, the grand the godfathers of, of sun worship? Actually, that's my ancestry, Patrick. I'm Zoroastrians. And I'm a Parsi. You are? They went yeah. to a long story there, but we, we worship fire. There are few Parsis around, we worship fire. Is that right? Sun, sun is our yeah. God. Well, I know that it's in that it's part of the world, yeah. The is that right? That's why 21st of March is the first of spring of our New Year's. No rules, we call it. No means new, rose means day, new day. No rules. No rules. No, no means new. New, yeah. Amazing, yeah. isn't it, how that word new and no, Nova, yeah. It goes back like hmm. probably 5,600. Oh, probably forever. <laughs> Very good. Um, so, it's not surprising to me that um, that connection would be would be still very strong in the Irish mind, because essentially we're Malaysians. We're from that part of the world, and uh, the word, uh, the name Baal, which was the sun god appears and various versions of it seems to recur all over the place, especially in Indo-European languages. But of course, as we know, sun worship is, was probably the most fundamental worship um, <clears throat> worldwide. Just about every single civilization at some stage or another practiced sun worship. Uh, we've all kinds of indications that uh, Sun worship was kind of fundamental to, to uh, Polynesians and to Aztecs and North American Indians and you name it. Um, whether or not they actually worshipped the sun god, others say they worshipped what they considered to be the, uh, the manifestation of a god, so to speak, That's that's the sun was evidence that there was a God, so to speak. Hard to say. Um, they were very symbolic. They, they understood symbols probably better than we do in many ways. Uh, so it could well be that they had all kinds of um, beliefs and imaginations around the sun, uh, that it was you know, God's eye or God's whatever. But anyway, they certainly um, didn't want to upset that God, that's for sure. But also, uh, just about everywhere too, um, there was a, an element of power associated with it. Because those who could predict uh, the coming of the sun, the going of the sun, the this, that, you know, and, and control that. So, just like today, politicians like to be in control. They like to control the flow of money, taxes, when things get done, they like to control. So it's interesting that in Ireland, uh, the fire became an instrument of central control. And 
uh, as a student of politics, I suppose I'm sort of drawn to the the uh, the the idea that the uh, the Dri or the Druids, as they're known in more popularly, um, actually controlled the new fire. There was a sort of the old fire died and the new fire began at uh, Baltane. And I remember growing up in Ireland and my mother would actually uh, extinguish the fire once in the year that she'd put out the fire. So, in the fall. pardon? In the fall. No. No, uh, on um, uh, Ihe Baltane, the, the, the night before Baltane. <clears throat> they would actually extinguish the fire. And I do remember that. It was the one time ever. So as a kid, you know, you say, well, that's very strange because we never <clears throat> put the fire out. Um, and they would relight it the following day. Now, uh, you know, that's... I'm sure that doesn't happen now. <laughs> anyway, they turn, all gas, turn on the gas. But the fire was a very important part of, uh, you know, of the old, the old world which in many ways ended in my generation. Um, the, the, fire, the fire was a tremendously symbolic thing. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's a book written by a, a local person in my part of Mayo, and he tells when he... He, <coughs> he actually wrote for the Irish Times, but he was telling how he got his... He had to bring his uncle to hospital um, for the last time, he was living on his own in the old, where his mother was born, um, a fellow called John Healy. And, but he tells about how uh, when, he, he, when he found him and realised that he had to get him to hospital right away, and chances are he wasn't coming back. And the guy knew that. Um, he had been an old bachelor living on his own, and all the, um, the houses around were all gone, you know, everybody was gone. But the last thing he said before he got into the car and, and went off with John, he was staring at the fire, you know. And John Healy gave him, you know, gave him time to, to say goodbye, sort of thing. But to understand the Irish mind, he, 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 was, he was saying goodbye to the fire. And he said to John, he said, there are three fires in there. In other words, the fires, they would take people going to America or leaving for the last time, would actually take the sods of turf, the last fire, and take it to the neighbours and put it into the fireplace. I know this is not exactly what we <coughs> figured we'd be talking about on Baltana, but I'm just saying how important fire was. But I can think of lots of instances of... Um, uh, almost fire worship, but it's not fire worship, it's just what it represents. Um, so, of course, he knew that, that, that three fires would go out uh, when he, he was the last. But <clears throat> we all know the story of how St. Patrick lit the fire on the Hill of Slain when, uh, before uh, the Druids lit the fire on the Hill of Tara, and the druid said to the high king, Lyra, um, if you don't go and put that fire out right now, it will never go out. Well, he wasn't able to put it out. In other words, Patrick won. But you see, Patrick understood, the, the, and the Christians understood, the symbolism and the power of fire in the uh, Irish mind. Uh, now, the event that... Patrick exploited, if you like, as a symbol of showing that there was a new order, um, was exactly perfect from a political point of view. He, was, he, he, cho he, he exploited the very moment when the old fire got extinguished all over the country and the new fire was then distributed from, from Tara. Now, so a lot of things come together there. First of all, the fact that all other all fires had to be extinguished all over the country, and um, very symbolic. Um, and then the fire was lit, literally with sticks by rubbing sticks, very ceremoniously, by the he the head priest, the high priest in Tara. They found dry sticks. 
<laughs> I'd say no, they probably had them pretty dried <laughs> for a week or two beforehand. <laughs> <That's> probably, <laughs> yeah. I'm sh remember bonfires? Oh yeah, we're going to get to bonfires in a minute. Yeah, I want to light here. We will. Um, but, you know, um, symbolism is so important to the human mind. But what I'm, what I'm trying to remind you of here is that all the previous fires were put out. That's why, as I say, my mother still kept up a ritual that she only vaguely understood. She just knew that, you know, you, it was, you did it and you should do it. Her mother did it, her mother before that did it, and so on. And then you littered the, 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 the following day. And that was, she had probably some very vague concept that it had something to do with Christianity and, and the old pagan stuff. And she didn't ask any questions about it. I, I 